So hello everybody and uh, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you with you. My name is Liam from biggerplate.com and I'm delighted to have on the other side of my screen, wherever he is on your screen, uh, Aiken, who is joining us from Ankara in Turkey today. Aiken is the uh, founder of Foramind, a new partner for Bigger Play, really interesting new uh, mind mapping software. So uh, I've asked Aiken to come on here and uh, tell us a little bit more about the, the past, the present and the, the future of Foramind. Uh, as always with our our, our global guests, I always have to apologize that they have to speak in English because I can't speak any other languages. Uh, but Aiken, it's such a pleasure to speak to you as always. Uh, and thank you for joining me. Uh, maybe you could just give us a little bit of uh, the, the background, if you like, of Foramide. How did you come to decide you were going to create a new mind mapping uh, product? So uh, let's, let's maybe get some background. Yes, thank you very much, Liam. Thank you very much to, for inviting me. It is such a great interview with you. And I'm very happy to talk about the foreign mind with you. Uh, when I'm giving the mind mapping trainings, uh, this uh, national uh, software development is occupying my mind. Uh, because uh, when you, uh, after trainings, uh, the users, uh, start to select the suitable softwares for their needs. In Turkey, generally, uh, because of the, some high prices, uh, uh, there are uh, some problems uh, to buy soft softwares. So uh, I think that because I have an experience 20, 23 years information technology sector uh, industry experience. So uh, I, th I thought that we should develop our own software, our national software, then uh, Turkish people can easily uh, buy it and can easily use it with own uh, native language. It should be have Turkish menu uh, and also support in English, of course, uh, but, uh, and uh, there should be some strong company behind the software. Because uh, the, the real value, when you, when you start to create the mind maps in the software, uh, the real value is your content. If you put this content on stable platform or some uh, free softwares, once uh, in the future, maybe you cannot reach your content. Th this is very uh, catastrophic. So uh, uh, I believe that uh, we should develop for a mind with a very good technology partner in Turkey. This is the Caffeine Technology Solutions Company. It's a very big uh, information technology company in Turkey. Uh, then we start to develop the Foreign Mind uh, 2019. Uh, then uh, approximately uh, two years later, uh, we uh, opened to use the Foreign Mind in the beginning of the 2021. Uh, then uh, we see that <clears throat> today uh, we have a, a approximately 20,000 users. Uh, it uh, takes just 10 months. So uh, we know that we are on the right way. We are, good, we are uh, doing our best. Uh, and uh, every day and also for a mind ha has some features. So you've um, in 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 ten months you've you've already attracted twenty thousand users. So I'm going to come back uh, in a little while and ask you about those users and, and what they're using for a mind uh, for. But uh, I think it's interesting to just go back to um, what you've described as your the background for the the for a mind product because there's there's a couple of interesting things that you you said there. One is that uh, you were a trainer before you were a software developer. So I think that'll be an interesting topic for us to just learn a little bit more about. So you've been training people in mind mapping before you developed any software for mind mapping. And in my mind, I think that's quite unique. I don't know anybody else in the software developing for mind mapping who started life as a, a trainer. So so tell us a little bit about that. What, how long have you been doing training in mind mapping and, and how did that start? Where, where did that come from? Yes. Uh, thank you very much. It's a good question because my journey with mind maps uh, really began in uh, 2014. Uh, my, uh, I have two sons, uh, my older son, asking always questions. Uh, 
So uh, when he was uh, six years old, uh, so I, th I thought that this boy asked many questions for the rest of life. So um, I, I should find the solution for that. Uh, there are two solutions. One of them is uh, I should learn the learning techniques for myself. Then I teach my son the learning techniques. Then uh, after that, uh, I met with the mind mapping technique in 2014. So uh, I read many books. Uh, I read, uh, I watch many videos, training videos about that. Then uh, I apply this technique on myself. For example, uh, one of the problem is when I read a book, I can easily forget the content of the book. So uh, after learning this technique, uh, I start to mind map the book summaries. So I saw that it's a very powerful technique because when I am reading uh, the book, and I, I know that I will make a, I will make a mind map after that. Uh, my perspective, my point of view change. So uh, uh, after this powerful technique, uh, we start to give the training with my son to other students, to other teachers. Uh, and it takes two years. Uh, we give the trainings thousands of the people, just uh, volunteer based, because my professional life is goes on in the information technology sector. Then uh, I wonder that uh, I should go to England and I should meet with Tony Buzan. I get uh, uh, license instructor training from them. Then I was at England uh, in 2016, uh, December, go to the Cardiff. Uh, I met with Tony Buzan and uh, Chris Griffith. Right. Yeah. Then uh, I get the training, Think Buzan license instructor training from them. Uh, I, I'm a lucky because, you know, uh, Tony Buzant uh, left around and uh, I get trainings. Then uh, I start to give my trainings with authorized instructor after that. Uh, but uh, again, uh, when we uh, come to the foreign mind topic, uh, after trainings, you should use some software. Mm. Uh, and this is the main problem in uh, Turkey because uh, we, we don't earn money with US dollar or euro. So yeah. uh, when you uh, give the uh, euro and US dollar for the softwares, it, it, it doesn't... Uh, it's extra charges, it's very, extra charges. it becomes yes. expensive, yeah. Yes, expensive. And it's, expensive. it's an interesting uh, addition to the, the problem making of uh, currency valuations and things you know we bigger plate's got a community of people from all over the world and, and you it's only when you understand that the cost of something is not the same around it it does actually become quite meaningful but but i think that's an interesting additional layer to a problem that i have seen uh, for years even this week i'm running at four uh four training workshops where i'm training in the techniques and showing them what's possible with my mapping software, but they still have to go and choose a my mapping software. And even without the issue of currency differences, that is still quite a difficult decision for people to make, to understand the different software options, to understand, will the menus be in a language I can understand? Yes. If I need help, can this company support me in my own language? Uh, you know, which is another problem we have at Bigger Pay. So for you, you, you sort of saw two problems there. If mind mapping was going to really take off in Turkey, um, it, it sort of scale, you saw a problem of the affordability and also the sort of accessibility. Can I understand this product? Does this company understand me? So th those are sort of interesting drivers to say, I'm going to take my IT uh, my information technology experience, my quite newly discovered interest in mind mapping, and I'm going to yes. bring them together to to create a software. So that some interesting drivers there for you, and and do you sort of feel that those reasons still exist? You, you're sort of still confident that's a good reason to have have started this path. Yes, yes, you you are right. Yes, it is the very interesting journey for me. Uh, I I didn't plan in the past for this journey, but uh, in on the way it develops and goes. Uh, 
Uh, and uh, the, the, another thing, uh, uh, Liam, uh, if uh, you have a national software, uh, you know, in uh, Turkey, uh, there are 18 million students, 18 million students, one million teacher. Wow. So if you give this technique with this software for them, and very low price, then they can use it. They can use it because uh, at the same time with trainings, we can uh, teach the benefits of these trainings, this thinking and learning technique. Uh, whenever I met with teachers and students, they like it. But uh, in the past, uh, they don't have a chance to use this software because mm. uh, uh, if you you if you want to use the free software, then um, the, to, to, to trust the free software and to make investment, con, uh, I mean con, uh, content investment yeah. uh, to, to in the free software is some risky. Yeah. For example, you have a 5,000 students school, then this school uh, create thousands of mind maps on the platform. So they, they are used this uh, mind maps. They, are, they will share it. And maybe they will translate most of the content, uh, video content or documentation to the mind maps. So they want to, uh, they want to uh, use uh, such a software trust. And uh, there should be some strong company to support mm -hmm. them. When they have some problem or they have some some needs, the company should do it. So in Turkey, we will we will succeed. And so you you've got quite a um, a strong focus on on Turkey, your your home home region, obviously. But um, let's talk about those uh, the the twenty thousand users of Forumine that you've managed to attract in a in that short time. Is, is that exclusively users from Turkey, or have people from outside of Turkey discovered Forumine and they're they're sort of experimenting with it as well? No, uh, ninety nine uh, persons is in Turkey. And, uh, and uh, most of them, the teachers and students. Great. Because I'm giving trainings to the educational institutions. Right. These are the primary school, high school, uh, and also universities, uh, the academic uh, uh, people. Then uh, most of them is the using the foreign mind for learning something. Uh, because foreign mind is very new software. Just mm. ten months is a lie. So there should we will uh, add many features on it in the future. Uh, so uh, now you can only uh, make a simple mind map in the foreign mind. You can share it, and that's all. Mm. That's all. But uh, foreign mind uh, can some special uh, features. Uh, some uh, advantages. For example, uh, in school, in school, there are learning management systems, LMS. And when uh, students and teachers look into LMS, then foreign mind comes then because we can integrate foreign mind with LMS. Right. Then only single sign-on is enough. There is no any authentication. There is no any new user account created. Uh, this is uh, very important. Mm -hmm. And also for each school, we uh, arrange a domain area. So some special categories and some special mind map templates created in foreign mind can only see for this school, not right. the other school. It's um. It, there's two things you're uh, hopefully solving, or at least trying to solve there. That again, it, it comes back a little bit to what we talked about earlier, which is people having to try and choose software. It, the minute you introduce obstacles, that enthusiasm that people might have from a training session can start to fade away because it starts to look difficult. So by making the software local language and, and Turkish, that's one thing. But now what you're doing with your your schools and these institutes is, is removing two other obstacles. One is you want your software to work with what they have already. 
which is a big obstacle, and that's in business, government, everywhere. The second obstacle is really where Bigger Plate, uh, what we believe in as well, is getting the software is a great first step, but a lot of people still don't know what to do with it. So the problem you're solving or trying to solve by providing templates is just helping people to get started. And most people, once they get started and they, and if the template contains content that feels familiar, so if it's a template that's of their own school's content, they're going to have a much better chance of kind of having a, a meaningful interaction with your software and with mind mapping and therefore more likely to, to stick with it. So I think it's an interesting, have you focused deliberately on this early stage first steps? You are completely right, because uh, there are a hundred uh, templates now existing for a mind, and most of the people, when visit the software and just uh, uh, working around what, what kind of software is this, open the templates, huh, okay, I got it. So you can map the, your uh, information uh, yeah. set. So um, uh, I'm sure that there are hundreds and thousands of templates should be existing for a mind, uh, most of the people. Because, for example, uh, let's think about the history teacher. This teacher uh, explains every year the same topics. If you put the uh, templates in the foreign mind, it, it, he saves the time and energy, for example. And in foreign mind, uh, the, to give the homework is very easy because we designed the software just sharing everything in three modes, read-only mode, edit mode, and copy mode. So you can give the homework with copy mode and the students work on this homework and turn back to the uh, read-only mode. So uh, it's very easy to make homework or some projects on Foramind. Foramind is not the uh, only software, it's a platform. This is the, my dream. It should be pl platform, work platform. Yeah, I, I think the um, the homework use case for, for my map is, I think is really great. And I don't see enough of it. I, I always love this idea that a teacher could create a template mind map, give to students who will then build on that in really unique ways that are very personal for themselves. Your, I think you said you have two sons. Yes. Uh, so your two sons would build off that same template differently. You know, yes. everybody is thinking differently. Everybody sees differently. And the ability for a teacher to get a much better idea of how a pupil sees that information for themselves, I think is really interesting. So I, I love the idea of kind of putting the map up and say, copy this and yes. fill it out however you like, really giving some opportunity for the students to express themselves, yes. but always around the structure that the template provides from the teacher. I think it's a really powerful use for mind mapping in schools i i don't see that much but uh, i'm hoping there's a lot more that being done that i don't see yes yes you are right and also yeah. we test it it works <laughs> yeah i'm sure it does i always like the idea as well of um of teachers who maybe create a more complete map but with yes. certain words missing so yes. you get the students to kind of fill in the branch topics to think, okay, what is the category of information, things like this. So I, I think there's lots of opportunities. And, and have you been able to get kind of feedback and interaction from the teachers as you've introduced this? Are you kind of working with them to understand how are they going to try and apply this in a classroom? Is it just homework or are they using it to present in a classroom? How, how are teachers kind of seeing your tool fitting in with all the other tools they have? Yes, uh, we, we are always getting the feedback from teachers because uh, I work close with the uh, schools. Uh, after I train the teachers, then uh, I introduce to foreign mind, then they want to play with foreign mind. Then, uh, but our teachers is, and also students are very really clever. Uh, as far as I see the foreign mind, they, they thought that oh we can do this we can do it yes so they see yes. they see the opportunity yes. straight away yes, yes. And, and everything is the local language there is right. no language barrier there is no uh, price barrier uh, there is no support problem so everything is fine they are really happy to find this software because if you uh, if you 
uh, cannot solve their problems, they don't use it. So uh, we, we are solving their problems. What kind of problems? For example, students resist to homework, but to mind map, to create a mind map, doesn't seem to classical homework. It's like a game. It's like an enjoyable. And they use the, uh, their imagine, their dream. They're so uh, the, the teachers are really happy to use the uh, for their minds to create the mind maps. But there are some missing. Uh, now uh, there is no presentation mode in foreign mind. Maybe in the near future we are uh, put the uh, presentation mode. So the, the, if there is a teacher uh, make a mind map, then there is no any need to PowerPoint such kind of uh, right. softwares. Yeah. Just present uh, and uh, and uh, explain the topics with mind maps. Yeah, I think presentations in schools, universities, business, wherever, I think it's a really great area for mind mapping. Yes. And I, I often will you know, tell people to use mind mapping to plan their presentation. I will always advocate for people to also use mind mapping to do the actual presentation, but I still don't see that very much. Most people still go back to the comfort of their slides. But at the very least, to use mind mapping to plan your presentation, it means you're going to have a better organized presentation. But I think for mind mapping software tools to make it really easy for somebody to present as well, if they want to, I, I think that would be a lovely feature to, to add. But I'm sure you've got a very big list of features to, to add to Forum Mind. I, I think one of the things that's really interesting about how new the product is, is it doesn't feel new. It feels well um, established when you're using it. It, it. It's not like it's full of bugs. It works properly. It's well put together clearly. But also one of the benefits perhaps of its newness is it's not full of menus. It's not yeah. overwhelming, which I imagine that's probably something that teachers and students probably quite like. It's simple. Yes. It's yes. not overwhelming them with menus and features and buttons. Do you, do you sort of, do you think you will try to almost keep that newness, that simplicity of your, your sort of interface as long as you can? Yes, you are right. You are very careful because in the old version of the foreign mind, there are many buttons and menus and the canvas, canvas area is very small. So uh, we turn our technology, we, uh, uh, dis we disappear all the menus and buttons, we put them on the just when the mouse click. So it's very easy uh, to make some uh, edit or customize some colors and fonts. Uh, and uh, Leah, the interesting thing, nobody needs uh, to take special trainings for Foramind. Everybody can use it easily. So th this is the, our main purpose because yeah. just give the software and just they uh, make a mind map easily. This is the, our main purpose because most of the software and also I experience, I use them, I am using many uh, complex softwares uh, because of my job. Uh, then there are many complex and there are many functionalities. Of course, I understood in professional life, we need these functionalities we need, but uh, our students and teachers doesn't need now. Maybe in the future, we can put some uh, special, uh, more complex uh, features. Maybe th this is the other package, for example, for a mind pro, for example, maybe in the future, but yeah. now, it's enough to make the mind map and share and working something. Yeah, absolutely. I think you make an interesting point, which I've made many times, which is a bit strange because Bigger Plate provides mind map training. But I've always said you shouldn't need training for mind mapping software. I never had any, and I got a huge benefit when I discovered mind mapping software at university. It absolutely changed everything for me. And I didn't have any training. I wasn't doing it 
correctly according to any rules or any i was just doing something that worked very well for me and the software i started using just kind of made it pretty easy for me so i i think it's a good mindset to have is you shouldn't need a training manual you shouldn't need the training course to be able to use a product and and that simplicity particularly for the education market i'm sure is a benefit um, and i think also you're at the moment at least the sort of the design style of for mind it again seems that sort of quite light and accessible for probably an education market and then i, I think your idea as well of uh, maybe adding some of these more powerful features but only if people want them you know and, yes. and the ability to upgrade my account and then there's some new items in the menu well, that's kind of interesting but if i don't yes. want those keep them out of the way maybe it's it's quite an interesting challenge i'm sure for you to decide the the route ahead so i, I guess I, I i'll look forward now and and ask you, you you've had 10 months and you're up to 20,000 users you're clearly quite happy with that progress so that's that's yes. great congratulations um what what do you think the next maybe one year focus for forum mind is going to be is it to stick with that education focus? Is it to keep the product relatively as it is? Or are you going to try and engage the business market? Or yes. what, what's the kind of the next year for you, Aiken, as a, as yes. a, as a team? Uh, uh, Liam, first of all, uh, we should prove ourselves. We should prove ourselves in education market. The 2,000 users uh, is not enough. It's, it's just the beginning in Turkey. So uh, maybe we should, uh, our users' uh, numbers should be 100,000, 200,000, first of all. Then uh, we should listen to the customer voice. We don't, uh, we don't hear enough customer voice up to now. First of all, there are many schools using Foreign Mind and we collect their voices, their needs, we make analysis, and first of all, after all needs, we make a, some a technology roadmap plan for their needs. Because uh, I'm my member expert, and I said that this is true, but this I, uh, this point of view is not correct. The, the correct thing: what customer needs, uh, and uh, they are the, the, what kind of problems they have and what we should do to solve their problems. Mm -hmm. So we collect their needs and uh, the, their general uh, needs, uh, according to their general needs, we develop our software. Mm -hmm. After some maturity we have in the uh, educational market, then we move to the business market, maybe one year later because in business later needs and uh, customer expectations are very different than the others. We know very well. Uh, but first of all, education, uh, then business. Yeah. And, and I suppose even if you, you just look at the education market, I think one of the challenges is there's the customer, but then there's the end user. So the school is the customer, but actually, which end users are you thinking are the most important? Is it teachers as end users or is it students as end users? Because even that distinction might take your development roadmap in a different direction. Are we, are we building a product for teachers to use and introduce and showcase? Or are we trying to build a product that's really for the students to be using? And even that, it, that might lead you in sort of not too different, but slightly different development directions. So, so that's interesting. And, and when you, when you say, Aiken, that you're uh, listening to the, your, your sort of user voices and things like that, how are you actually doing that? Is it just lots of people sending you emails or are you mm -hmm. going into schools and sort of, you said you're running training sessions. So I guess you're getting real on the ground feedback from people in, in the moment from, from that. Is that your best source of sort of feedback is being in the training room? Is that where you're learning the most, you think? The regular, uh, regular basis visiting is very important. Uh, generally, uh, I'm talking every week with my customers, with, with the schools, uh, both and teachers and also students. But uh, 
for example, if you get some bug in the software, they are uh, immediately uh, just send us an email. Uh, this is the very very uh, quick, but uh, the general uh, general uh, purposes and uh, general uh, feedbacks I visited. I prefer to visit the schools. The face to face to talk is uh, is very important, and mm -hmm. also the customer should feel that yes, this uh, company is uh, or behind us and support everything. For example, if you buy some software from on the internet, uh, how you can contact with them? Uh, this uh, this is not possible. Of and also the foreign mind is integrated the school system, so customer uh, thinks that foreign mind is for us or our software. They feel not the WW uh, software. This is the our software because it works in, in their systems. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the, the, this visiting is important. Some uh, seminars, online seminars are very important because uh, every software, when, when you use the software, you get uh, much more easy to use. Uh, so there are some tricky, there are some uh, thing, uh, time saving tricks. Uh, so uh, when I'm giving the seminars, uh, I'm making the uh, examples, some mind map examples, and I'm showing some tricks. This is also the uh, motivates the user. Mm. Yeah, I think that's it. Goes back to what we were talking about earlier, isn't it? You've got to make the first steps very easy for them. So show them the shortcuts, show them the examples, provide the templates, uh, and also show how it applies to their real life. Uh, this is one of the things that I, I think we can be very vulnerable to in in the world of software in general not just mind mapping software but sometimes the companies creating that software will will tell you it can do everything but actually what most people want to know is okay what can it actually do for me at my job tomorrow morning that's what they want to know and that that's kind of what you've got to try and speak to and and illustrate to them yeah. um so so just uh, we're nearly up of our time aching so i just want to um maybe just broaden our focus just for a moment, because I think it's very interesting for, for our you know, bigger plate members and for anybody watching on YouTube to just understand a little bit, um, mind mapping in Turkey. So bigger plate's got a community members all over the world. And, and we can sort of normally look at pretty much any country uh, in the world and say, that looks like it's very active for mind mapping, or it's still quite new there. Turkey is an interesting one. What's your sense, of having been a trainer and now as a software developer, what's your sense of sort of the familiarity with mind mapping as a technique and mind mapping software in Turkey? Uh, what, what's your sort of sense from, from being involved for some time now? Is it still quite new? Is it known about? What, what do you see in, in your, your sort of part of the world? Yes. Uh, first of all, a Bigger Plate is the number one community. So uh, yes, in mind mapping, and I am so lucky to be a member of this community. Uh, then when we come to the Turkish market, the mind mapping is the very new concept, very new. Why new? Because of the technology. Generally, uh, teachers get some trainings in the university about the concept mapping, about the mind mapping, but they don't know how to use it. Right. They, uh, uh, in real, and they don't know the integration of the mind mapping in the real life. So as a, as a uh, uh, trainers, uh, our first uh, aim, we, we are showing how they integrate this technique in their business or education life. The, 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 and also we are successful. Whenever we give the, some trainings, we get some feedbacks and most of the people uh, likes this technique and want to use it. But the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the second main topic is the software. Uh, if you uh, leave these users alone, they don't find the suitable software and all the trainings are uh, mm -hmm. go to uh, empty. So uh, when we uh, now present the foreign mind, 
uh, as a local uh, language software, they want, uh, they start to apply immediately. Then they start to use it. They start this technique. This is very important. So in Turkish market it is very new. Uh, and uh, I'm sure that there are no uh, such a huge number of users about mind mapping. Now, I'm also creating the market. Uh, my company and the Forer Mind uh, is uh, forced to introduce to mind mapping, to give trainings and to some uh, real life, uh, some applications. For example, I'm giving the trainings to the company uh, for business life, then uh, I'm uh, showing them how the strategy planning, how the strategy planning is doing with mind maps, for example. Uh, but uh, of course, maybe in the future, for a mind is uh, will give some, will have some features about also business life. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, it's it's really interesting insight, and I, I think the. The risk is you think business users want lots of other stuff, yeah. but actually a lot of business users want exactly what Forum Mind can do today, which is I want to just organize my ideas and some information. So I think it could even be a bit of a myth that business users need some special stuff. They, they actually, like most of us, just need to organize ideas and information, and that's what a basic mind mapping tool can and, and should be able to do so uh, that's interesting you're going to you're starting to get some sort of business uh, engagement even um, and interesting as well as a challenge for you as a company that you you sort of have this challenge of market building as well as selling and developing a, a, a product itself so so just uh, as a so way of wrapping up Aiken just just help people who, who maybe are not yet familiar with Foramind to understand we can come to foramind.com and we can sign up and get a free account. Yeah. And what, what is that free account giving me if I come and sign up to Forum Mind today? Uh, when uh, in the first November, uh, Forum Mind will be, uh, will be paid. Right. Uh, then uh, when you create an account for free, you, have a, uh, you will use the 15 days free. After 15 days, then you should buy it. But... Uh, it's very, very cheap for the, especially euro and dollar people. Right. <laughs> so at the moment, we're going to get a currency benefit, are we? Yes. Yeah, yes. right. Yes. Okay, so 1st of November is, is sort of almost the introduction of the, the pricing model for Foramind. So that's quite an interesting uh, moment to be speaking to you, I guess, because that uh, is that quite a nervous moment for you to sort of, you'll, you'll start to see what people will pay for and, and where the yeah. price points are? Yeah, 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 it's right. We, we are wondering before the yeah. first November is very, uh, is the critical for us. Right. We, we will see. So <laughs> I'll, send you a, I'll send you an encouraging email on 2nd of November saying it's going well. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Maybe, maybe in the future, the second interview, uh, we should talk about the, 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 the business model and uh, the, the business development. Yeah. Yeah. And so I suppose it's a, an interesting stage to be speaking to you. I mean, it's, it's great to speak to, uh, well, it's always great to speak to you anyway, but it's great to speak to you when the product is still at such an early stage, the business is still at such an early stage, and you're just ahead of this sort of, I guess I always talk about bigger plate. We built an idea and a brand, and then we spent years trying to figure out what the business was. <laughs> I think you're a bit ahead in that regard. It's only taken you 10 months, but it's taken us about 10 years. So you're at a point, I suppose, where you're starting to introduce more of your business model into the product. And then you're, I imagine you're going to start getting really useful feedback about, yes. is it priced in a way that's accessible for the Turkish market? The product is available in, in English. We should make that very clear to people. So, um, you know, people, you may find your customers are actually coming from somewhere else because you've priced it so competitively, perhaps. So you, I guess November is going to be a really interesting learning month for, for you as a team to see what the response is to, to that commercial um, layer as you introduce it. Yes, yes, you are right. And also I'm wondering, Liam, maybe in the near future, we will see what we see succeed. Uh, and what about the income and how this journey uh, goes on? 
Mm. Well, we uh, seems like a good point to to end our discussion by wishing you the best of luck with uh, with that introduction of that new uh, exciting stage of the the, the journey. Um, but also, Akin, thank you for your engagement with Bigger Plate over the last couple of years. It's been great learning from all of your experiences, and we're delighted to now have uh, Forum Mind as a, a partner to be working with and hopefully we've got lots of exciting things to work on in uh, in the new year and, and maybe even we'll be able to uh, finally grab a beer in in turkey somewhere at one stage yes yes thank I you i think fs much. fs is the beer i remember drinking a lot in turkey isn't it yes you're right <laughs> yeah there you go see I, that's the kind, that's the kind of useful information i remember yes you, you are right you're right Perfect. well Aiken, thank you very, very much for your time and for your, your efforts to, to grow the market for mind mapping in Turkey and, and globally. Uh, for anybody who wants to go and have a look at the Forum Mind software or to get in touch with Aiken, they can go to forumind.com. I'll put the address on the screen so people can see that. Uh, but for now, Aiken, I wish you a very pleasant remains of your day. Thank you very much and, and best of luck with the, the next few months on the, the Forum Mind journey. Yes, thank you very much, Leanto, for inviting me and to talk about with you for the foreign minds is very, uh, I'm happy. Great. Thank you very much, Akin. You take care.